Welcome back. So I recently bought this laptop, Inspern 5000 gaming laptop, and it came with four hours of battery life. I managed to squeeze six hours, so that is a 50% increase of battery power. And here is how I did it. Before I show you, uh, before I show you how I did it, let me show you something else. On the left side, we have a program that shows the processor temperature there are multiple cores four cores in the whole package and on the second section here you see the amount of power that it's drawing from the battery and on the bottom is the clock speed of the processor and on the right side I have an antivirus that I'm going to use to draw a lot of power to increase the heat so one of the things about batteries is that the heat and the intensity of the work is what really kills it fast if you can manage to slow it down let it draw less power it will last much longer in my case my processor i7 7700hq it has the uh, the feature to clock down the tdp and besides that i'm going to show you multiple other things that i did so first thing first if you have screen brightness 100% you're not gonna get a good battery life if you reduce it to 50% believe me over time in about 20 minutes you're not going to notice that much difference your eyes are gonna get used to it and also the blue light coming from the screen will give you the, the, the bright light will give you less eye strain so I recommend reducing it to 50% if you really need that battery power alright so the second thing go to task manager and kill any program that you don't need for example uh, I, I had I had steam game engine running on the background while I didn't even need it at all and it, for some reason it was drawing 1% CPU which is quite a lot if you're on a battery so those are the kind of things that you probably already know so let's begin the most important part go to start type choose a power plan and open the power plan and my power plan is currently by Dell it is equivalent of high performance um, it is drawing a lot of power and let me show you oh not yet okay so you have your regular power options if you don't have a power saver plan I recommend creating one create one on the left side click create a power plan name it give it a name and then click next and create the power plan so let's say it's called power saver reduce the brightness to 50 percent then go to change plan settings and then change advanced power settings and then from here I will show you a couple of things that you have to replicate on yours make sure it's the same under desktop background settings slideshow it, it, it will draw a little bit of power so go ahead and pause it while it's on battery and then wireless adapter setting power saving mode while on battery choose maximum power savings I don't think you will care if you're downloading at 600 megabit per second or 50 megabit per second while on while you're on your battery trying to squeeze a little bit and the important part is Intel Dynamic Platform Thermal Framework. Go ahead and expand that and under config TDP level on battery it will say 45W again this will only be here if you have one of these latest processors and I'm gonna go ahead and change it to 35 watts. Do I really care about the 0 0.9 gigahertz? Not until, not unless I am plugged in and I need to squeeze every single bit of performance but uh, while I'm on battery I don't care 1.7 gigahertz is more than enough I'm not gonna play any games or do any word processing heavy so 10 watt reduction is going to give us a lot more battery power and it's going to make it a lot cooler and I will show you how much cooler and power limit on battery level 1 acoustic limit level one these are all power and fan related things so under processor power management um, 
maximum processor state. Do not confuse it with maximum processor frequency. You only want the maximum processor state. Go ahead and choose 80% while on battery. By the way, you could do this on a separate plane and call it a gaming plane while plugged in. While plugged in, you could also make it 80%. And what this does is it would reduce your CPU and GPU at temperature by at least 10 Celsius. This is going to make the computer very cool and you're not really going to lose any frame um, unless you have a very weak graphic card okay so once you reduce it to 80 percent go ahead and click apply and click OK so now let's go back we have our power saver plan and our Dell or equivalent of high performance plan so I'm going to show you the temperatures while scanning the antivirus we are on let's say on high performance right now I'm going to start a full scan now and on the left side pay attention to the CPU temperatures in about a minute it will it will go 75 it is already 73 75 it's on about around 70 Celsius and it is drawing 16 17 watts 20 approximately up to 20 watts of power and the clock speeds are about 3 gigahertz so this is quite a lot of power that's being drawn and I'm I know I'm using an antivirus it draws a lot of power but this also applies to other things like browsing or anything this is just a good way to demonstrate the scale of the difference so it is keep, pay attention uh, uh, upper 60s uh, goes up down it was sometimes it was on 70s it is on high performance right now um, I'm going to change it to power saver and pay attention to the numbers so on the right side under max you can see that it hit as much as 79 77 the average was 70 60 upper 60s on our power saver plan it is lower than 50 47 and instead of 20 watts power it is now drawing only 6 watts that is a huge difference that is going to make a big impact on the battery and also the clocks are now no more no longer 3000 megahertz they are around 1000 megahertz and look at the celsius look at the speed i mean the temperature it is 20 25 celsius cooler than it used to be and the antivirus is still scanning hundreds of files per second which means we're still getting the performance if antivirus scans hundreds of files per second you're not going to have any performance with uh, web browsing believe me and this is going to give you the extra one or two depending on what your current uh, usage is about battery power like I said in my case it gave me an extra two hours which is a 20% increase so let's recap the things that we did the brightness uh, you don't really want anything over 50% because uh, first of all your eyes are gonna get used to it very fast um, and number two it's using a lot of power as soon as you go about uh, about 50% it goes exponentially high the usage and the second thing go to task manager and, and disable things that you don't need at the moment like game console uh, pro pro processes running for for no apparent reason and the third thing create a power plan decrease the TDP the amount of power that your processor gets and uh, also decrease the the processor state from 100% to 80% and that is what's causing uh, the processor to go from 3000 megahertz to 1 to 1.6 and this is one of the reasons why you are saving uh, so much heat you are avoiding so much heat and that's why the battery uh, is lasting longer 
Let me know if this was helpful. I have another similar video that I did a couple of years ago. Go check that one out too. Thanks for watching.